Hello. Hello, hello. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Katie Matson. and I'm the social media, uh, sorry, digital media specialist here at CASA. And um, here live with James, and we are just going to get into it about auditions, Q&A. If you have a question, drop it below. We'll try to get to it. And James, I'll hand it over to you if you want to introduce yourself. Perfect. And Perfect. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Um, wh whoever's there. Hello, Julie. <laughs> hello, hello, my friend. Um, like I said, I'm James McQuillan. I'm the director of theater for youth here at Casa Manana. And you might be asking yourself, well, what does that mean? Um, it is a weird title, isn't it? Um, basically, it's, it's two things. Uh, one, I'm essentially the director of education. So I provide leadership for all of our classes, all of our education offerings, uh, community engagement, that sort of thing. And the second part of that is I music direct and am part of the, I mean, I guess I'm part of the producing team, the creative team, the assembly team <laughs> for all of the TYA musicals that we do, theater for young audiences. So, um, those are professional actors, mostly adults, but often kids too, uh, young people, students, uh, performing for, um, for kids and for adults. I mean, there's public performances too. So um, I hope that made sense. Maybe it did. I don't know. It did. That was I don't great. know. Um, we wanted to talk about auditioning because we, we have a lot of auditions coming up and a lot of theaters have a lot of auditions coming up. And, uh, some of you are in the middle of college auditions and all of this. So we wanted to talk about that. But what I really want to share with you is some ways that you can think about auditioning in a way that will help you feel more empowered. Because it's a really tough thing to do, right? It's really, really hard. And it's complicated, especially today when you're um, doing videos. Some things are video, some things are live. You do a video, then you do a live callback super weird today but i'd like you to think about this in in a really simple empowering way your job in an audition is to demonstrate your skills that's it your job isn't to uh, workshop new material your job isn't to show off new songs oh i found this song yesterday it's so great somebody just wrote it not your job not your job your job isn't even to entertain us your job isn't to change our minds. Your job is to demonstrate your skills. And you do that through two things, preparation and attitude. That's it. Because here's the thing, friends, that's all you have control over. If you approach auditioning from that point of view, thinking about what you have control over, and getting rid of everything you don't have control over. Like, what do they think? Will they give me a call back? What did someone else sing? Then you're automatically coming at this from a more empowered place because you're making your choices. You're not allowing other people to make those choices for you. Okay. So, um, that's, that's the biggest thing is preparation, 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 and your attitude, coming into it with the attitude of, I'm going to demonstrate my skills and do my best today. And my best today may be different than my best was last Tuesday. And my best today may be different than my best is next Wednesday. It's, it's just where you are today. So we have some questions that people have sent in. Um, you want to jump in on that? Should we? Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, I'll list them off. Hi, I guess George. Then. What's going on? <laughs> Are you supposed to be in school, George? Or I don't. Are you doing this in school? I don't know. <laughs> maybe lunch break for some. Maybe lunch. Maybe eat your yeah. lunch and yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, uh, so I guess we'll just end into it. Our first. Oh, also, guys, if you think of a question, you can submit a question yeah. near the comment box down there. There's like a little comment bubble with a question mark, or just type a comment, and we'll, we will try to get to that. Oh yes, George is at lunch. Great. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch, George. Enjoy. Your <laughs> okay, lunch. so first question is. What are the best pre-audition tips to nail something at CASA? Great. So um, preparation, 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 right? Sing something you're totally familiar with that you love. Don't ever sing a song in an audition that you don't love. Whether your mom said you should sing it, your voice teacher said you should sing it, I told you you should sing it. Um, I was going to say Hal Prince, but he's dead. Um, uh, Jason Robert Brown told you to sing it, okay? Don't sing it if you don't love it. Um, and, and prepare. 
demonstrate your skills, right? An audition is a demonstration of skills. So work on those skills, study dance, study acting, study singing, study music, study all of that. And then you will be able to be prepared for your audition to demonstrate the skills that you've worked on. So th that's the tip. Yeah. Do like prepare. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Our next question is, when will the apprentice program auditions be slash when will the show be on it announced? <laughs> um, the, uh, all of that is going to be announced very, very soon. Yes. Um, yeah, very, very, very soon. So just keep your eyes peeled. There, yes. There's a lot of stuff we're sort of coordinating behind the scenes and figuring out. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so thank you for your patience. We yes. can't wait. And we can say, I know Sebastian, you asked about this, Maya. We do have a show. Yep. We are excited to announce auditions. Um, on our website, if you go to About, scroll down to Auditions, always up to date there. Feel free to sign up for the email notifications. We'll send out audition notices to that list as well. Um, and just keep watching our social media because we will, as soon as we announce, we will post about it. <laughs> yeah, it will not be mysterious. No. <laughs> No, although the, t the title is mysterious right now, but no, yes, we, yes. we will not Sorry, make it mysterious story. at all. Um, okay. So another question we got is best practices for dance calls. So I, I, am, I am absolutely not a dancer, but um, sitting in on so many auditions and watching them, a couple of things to think about in a dance call. One, demonstration of skills, right? Mm -hmm. So have the skills go to dance class, study ballet like it's your job, because it is. Study jazz, study modern, really work to get the skills. And then in the audition, yes, I mean, it's important you get the steps, you get the actions, you get the arms, all of that. But the more you can show us who you are too in a dance audition, what do you do? What do you bring to the table? How are you, um, um, Tilda Grace, whoever you, I don't know you, I'm sure you're a delightful. <laughs> How are you, Tilda Grace, different from Katie Matson? You know, what, how do you do this differently? What do you bring to the table? Uh, that's, that's a really great practice. Are there, um, are there specific techniques that you guys look for in a dance call? Um, how closely Need. they resemble whatever the technique is that's taught to them before that or yeah, the fat the faster you can pick stuff up the better so that's all that's about skill right and it's really about listening and knowing having enough familiarity with dance and musical theater dance styles to be able to go oh right i i know exactly what that is when we say when the choreographer says xyz in a fossey style you're like yep i know exactly what that is great I know that. I don't have to worry about that. That's already in my body. Fabulous. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Next, we kind of touched on this a little bit before, but I'll go ahead and ask it. Yeah. What should um, someone have prepared before they arrive? Okay. So audition? this this feels like to me a question about a live audition, right? So, I, I mean, some places are having them. We're not so much. Um, some places are. A lot of places aren't. Um, the thing you should have prepared before you arrive is what you're going to sing and that you know exactly what you're going to do, that your music is marked for the pianist. It's very clear where you're starting, whether you want an introduction or just your note um, and where you are stopping. And that you know what you're singing and you know that it fits the requirements that they need. So say, say a theater is doing... Um, the whiz okay like super poppy amazing kind of soul rock poppiness what you like you might be a really killer legit singer right but going in and singing um glitter and be gay from candide doesn't really show us how you fit into the world of the whiz necessarily so have it have stuff in your book that allows you to demonstrate all of the skills that you have. And then we can dovetail that with the show and what we need for the show or what we think we need. Because do you know what? Here's the thing nobody's going to tell you. Actors always worry about what do they want? What do they want? What do the directors want? What do these people want? Here's the thing. 
a lot of times we don't know. <laughs> We're waiting for you to come in and tell us and solve the problem. Okay. And the clearer you show your skills and who you are, the more we go, oh, oh, great. That problem solved in a way we weren't expecting. Great. Terrific. Check that off the list next. Okay. No one's going to tell you that, but that's the reality of it. I mean, yeah. sorry. Secrets out, y'all. Secrets yeah. out. There it goes. Okay. Next. Can you provide a rundown of how a typical audition works? Let's do... Um, I guess in person audition, and then we can touch on yeah. submission. So, in an in, for an in person audition, you'll usually sign up for a time. I mean, especially here, at, especially here at Casa, you'll sign up for a time, and you will show up that day, and you will give the person working the door, uh, checking people in, saying hello, uh, give them your headshot and your resume, let them know you're here, you're you're friendly, you're delightful. You know, we're all here wanting the same things. Yep we want everybody to be awesome and you're going to come in and be awesome. Uh, you'll be called into the room. You know, they'll say your name. Um, Callie Mitchell, come on in and you'll go in and you may or may not know who's in there. Uh, sometimes we don't know. Sometimes it changes minute to minute and you'll go to the pianist and you'll talk through your music. Here's my book. Here's my song. Here's what I'm doing. And then you'll go up and do your song. Um, and then we'll either ask for more or we'll say, hey, that was great. We've seen what we need to see. That is not a bad thing, by the way. Okay? So many people in that moment when we say, great, we've seen what we need to see, go, oh, hmm, that, that means they don't want to hear more. It means, sometimes it means we don't want to hear more because we, like, we know and we're going to call you back. We don't need to, we don't need to, like, have confirmation of what we've seen we know oh he's great let's do it great let's move on to the next person great he can go he can go have lunch you know it's not always a bad thing yeah not meant to be a stressful comment no 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 no, no. It, it's usually meant to let you off the hook like we're clear you're clear go have lunch go have a cup of coffee go you know pick up your dry cleaning do whatever you need to do go on with your life yeah awesome okay that if was you, great Rock, Rocco and Frankie, I think I know them. Um, if you offer the option to sing a pop style song in an audition, do you mean that? Or should we choose a musical theater song with a pop vibe? God, that is such a great question. Um, 15 years ago, I would have said, uh, sing a musical theater song with a pop vibe. Okay, now we want a real pop song. We want a real honest to God pop song or a real honest to God rock song or a real honest to God country song. We don't want a song from Rent or, um, or I, I, I can't think of any musicals right now for some reason. Um, we don't want a song from Rent or Legally Blonde. We want like a Janis Joplin song or we want uh, a, a Blondie song or a Sex Pistols song or whoever. We want a real honest to God song that's not a theater song. And that's also a thing when you're auditioning for jukebox musicals, right? Like, like Mamma Mia or something. Don't sing, a, don't sing the version from the show, sing the real version. Sing the style of the music that's from the show, that, that the show is, not the like show version of the song. Yeah. That's great. Um, let's go up real fast and just answer Kendall's question. Great, I didn't even Kendall see Kendall said, how do you show your personality and self taper online auditions? <laughs> Yeah, so this self-tape thing, that's a whole question. Yeah, so relevant right now. But we're all doing it. You're very welcome, Rocco and Frankie Music. Mm -hmm. um, here's the thing. We, the thing with the video auditions that's so interesting is the camera does so much of that work for you, right? Um, the, the camera is a great, um, how to put it, a great phoniness detector. So... It, when you are just you and you and you are invested in your song and your or, or the monologue or whatever it is that you're putting on tape tape i mean you know video i'm 46 years old i said tape um <laughs> you we get that we get that part of who you are right and that's also part of the function of the slate when you say hi i'm james mcquill and i'm going to be singing glitter and be gay from candide um, we, we see who you are. You slate as you, 
right? Yeah. And then then you're in the moment of the song and you do the song. Yes. So, okay, so let's touch on in a video submission or online submission. Mm -hmm. Late yourself. That's so important because a lot of times we get an up uploaded link and it's just like a random YouTube name. So we need to know yeah. who you are. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't know we don't, or we guess that it's it's yeah and we don't yeah. guess well often. Be sure you include your slate. Um, say who you are. You can always put a little the title on the video and say, you know, Colin Roth singing Gethsemane. Um, Colin Roth sings Gethsemane brilliantly, by the way. Who just is here? Um, yeah. Uh, you can always put that in the video so there's no question but yeah absolutely introduce yourself that's such a great opportunity okay we have a few more question boxes okay we have one i think we're answering it now okay it popped up at the bottom hey james can equity still do casa tya yeah absolutely we 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 absolutely yeah we um we hire tons of equity people for the tya season um We've already hired probably so far just for the TYA season over a dozen equity contracts, maybe maybe two dozen already. Don't quote me on that, but I, I can't remember exactly. But absolutely. Yeah. We love we love hiring union actors. Absolutely. Okay. Please. Okay, Please. One more question from the same person. Thank you so much for submitting questions, guys. Yeah. Is and thank you for your patience with me figuring this out because <laughs> I, I don't know how to do this Instagram thing live very well. So um, right. are there plans to bring back Casa's TYA tours? Do you mean like the national tour? Like when Mr. Popper's Penguins went out and like traveled around the country? I'm assuming that's what they mean. Yeah, I mean, um, y yes, that's <laughs> always in the, we would love to do that. I mean, obviously, we're still in the middle of whatever this pandemic is going to be. And the performing arts are getting hit among the hardest of all the industries, right? Like performing arts and like restaurants. So um, we would love to do it more. The logistics of it are really, really hard for everyone involved, for the producers, for the presenters, for the actors, for all of it. So um, we would love to do that. That was a great a great thing to you know be able to hire actors and send them out on the road it, it was wonderful um oh yes we loved we loved junie b jones that was yes fun. yes yeah we we would love to do it and when the time is right we'll do it again it's just i'm sure we all understand that right now it's it's yeah. prohibitively complex yeah. yeah and tours are experiencing you know problems as well yeah i mean the touring the touring thing is really really tough right now i have a friend who's um on the backstage staff with the Dear Evan Hansen tour. And it is logistically, it is an enormous lift. It's amazing that any of it's happening. So go out and support them. We're going to see Hades Town while it's in Dallas. I mean, yeah, support, support, support. Okay, I'm going to close out that question. Yeah. Great. Okay, we oh, have fancy. another sip. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, if I audition and make it, how long will rehearsals be? Um, okay, so here at Casa Manana for um, the TYA series, the rehearsals are, uh, are you sitting down? Uh, we rehearse about 10 days, um, almost two weeks. I think it's like 12 days, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's all, it's like an eight hour rehearsal. So we rehearse during the day, um, usually like 10 to six, noon to eight, something like that. Sometimes, sometimes it changes um but yeah and then it's like 10 days so that's why this demonstration of skills part is so important right we don't have a lot of time and we we throw a lot of material at you even in a tya show that's maybe 50 mm -hmm. minutes long it's a lot of material in rehearsal really fast and we need to have assurance that you have the skills to do that um that it, it's like, imagine, imagine being in a batting cage, right? And there's like lots of balls coming at you, but it's like a catching cage. And um, you just have to catch as many as you can. Right. That's kind of what a fast rehearsal is like. Um, just like you have giant gloves and you're just like catching as many things as you can. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. And when you, when you have the skills and you find the fun and you, you get that rhythm, it's, it's crazy. It's so much fun. 
it's so much fun. And it's fun to witness. Oh, yeah, yeah. And look, our morning performances here that we do for school age kids um, that come here on field trips, there's nothing like a thousand third graders screaming for your show. Yeah. It, it's, it's great. And when we came back with, um, with Grace for President back in the fall, it was actually really moving. Like it, it made me feel feelings. Yeah. Seeing all those kids in there screaming, it was great. Screaming in a positive way, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, you know, that inspires a lot of them. You know, some of them probably have never seen theater and a lot yeah. of them are inspired to audition yeah. or look into when can I come back? When can I get involved? Yeah. Or just, or, or just come back. I mean, part of what we're doing is we're, we're evangelizing for audience members for the future, right? I mean, uh, we have to have an audience. We have to have people to do this for. Otherwise, we would just be, like, singing songs in the living room. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, you know? Yeah. And charging no one to see it. I mean, that, that would be crazy. Yeah. Okay, um, so next question. We're going to yeah. go ahead and move on. Um, any tips to stand out in audition? Just be you Prepare and I know we say that a lot you and I know oh here's the thing I know some of you I know those of you who are actors are like oh, there has to be more to it yeah. I mean there is this secret that no one's telling me uh, honestly there's not it's skills it's skills and just show us who you are yeah yeah I mean think about the way shows are being cast right now right I mean, think of Ali Stroker, right? In the rev recent revival of Oklahoma on Broadway. Mm -hmm. She's in a wheelchair, right? She wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna try to like not be in a wheelchair. She's like, this is who I am. <laughs> Boom, Tony's, hello, right? Yeah. Um, and the, do the door, if there even is a door, I mean, there's not a door, but um, the proverbial door is wider now than it's ever been, right? We want to cast everyone. We want to cast regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, um, LGBT status, like any of it, right? Um, we want to see who you are. And we, we, want to, um, we want to spend time with you. Maybe not on this show, maybe in a future show, but every audition you do is an investment in that relationship, right? and saying, here's, here's who I am, here's what I do. Maybe not this time, but do you know what? In six months, we'll be like, oh, yes. Oh my gosh, she was so great when she came in for that other thing that, that just didn't work out. But yes, this is perfect, great, let's do it. It's all an investment, which is why you have to be prepared because it's very hard to undo a negative, a, a bad audition, an audition you're not prepared for, an audition that you don't, don't do your best. That's hard to undo. So come in and do your best and show us who you are. Going yeah. off of that, I know in the past we've gotten a lot of questions um, when we're casting or mm -hmm. holding auditions. Do we cast for the role or do we see the collective group and then fit from there? D, all of the above. Okay. <laughs> it depends on the show. It depends on the director. Different directors have different ways of doing things. We're so lucky here at Casa that we get to work with a lot of different directors. We have people we love like Jeremy Dumont who come back and come back and come back. I mean, he's, he's brilliant and dear and, and a dear friend. Um, but we get to bring in people, different people, new people all the time. So we, we get to learn a different way of working and a different way of viewing auditions too. So that's, and that's good for everyone, right? Nobody gets to yeah. fall into a rut that way. Yeah. Um, what type of input would you say that directors have on the casting? Sometimes it's central. Sometimes they're saying, yes, no, maybe have them do this, have them do this. Sometimes we cast a show and the director's not been hired yet because somebody had to back out and we're scrambling. Um, ideally, the director's a central part of that process because, you know, like their name's sort of at the top of the thing, right? I mean, they, they well, the bottom typically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it changes from show to show, season to season. Right now, things are really tough. So sometimes we do, um, we, we cast the show and the director walks in and goes, oh, this is who we're doing this with. Great. And that happens more than you think <laughs> in a lot of different contexts. Opera pretty much is only cast that way. 
opera directors walk into a room and there's a bunch of singers and they go, oh, okay, we're doing, we're doing Marriage of Figaro with these people. Okay, great, let's do it. All right, the lights keep... The lights keep turning off, how yeah. crazy. Yes, okay, um, we'll go back to Rocco and Frankie's question. What's, What's the, the general turnaround time from submitting a video to hearing about a call? <laughs> Do I keep the dream alive? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, here's the thing. I know it's really hard when you submit a video, right? Because you don't have that thing of you go in, do your song, have a conversation, say hello. You just email a link out into the world, right? And, and we, I mean, ho hopefully, I think we write back and say thank you. We got it, don't we? We, I mean, hopefully, I think we do. Yeah, um, notification. Yeah, so we, um, sometimes it's a couple of days, sometimes it's a couple of weeks. Um, you are absolutely free to write and say, hey, do, do you need anything? I've not heard anything. Do you know yes or no? That's a fair question. If a theater doesn't say you will know by XYZ date, or the callback is X, Y, Z date, you know, so you know there, there's like a D day. That's a fair question. Yeah. 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 And it's not always done that way. Different theaters handle it differently. I think that's also something that's culturally kind of changing in theater right now is we're, we're um, handling those conversations a little differently than we used to. Used to it was like you auditioned and you either did or didn't hear anything. And well, if they don't hear anything, get over it. Now we're just being a little more, we're, all trying to do our best to be more considerate in that way, which is good yeah. for everyone. Yeah. We have Sorry, I'm like question. very talky, very yeah. talky. I hey. Any elaboration is helpful, I'm sure. Okay, so next question in the chat. For virtual auditions, is there still dancing involved or is it only a song cut? It depends. Um, generally, it's a song, but sometimes there is a there is a dance audition involved. Like we have an audition up right now, don't we, Katie? Yes, for Descendants right now. Yeah, and I was like, Ugh, where are we with that? <laughs> yes. uh, I couldn't remember. Um, and there, there is a dance component to that. So, and that's all explained, right? And everybody handles that differently, yeah? But a lot of times the easiest place to do an initial sort of sweep and an, an initial sort of casting the net is with the song. Um, and I think sometimes we might even go back and say, can you send us yeah. a dance mm -hmm. clip yeah. or something? And I know, so we don't have it posted yet, but we are posting another audition for Descendants and it will have an example of the dance you need to mm -hmm. record. And, so, and so that's um, very, that one of course will have a dance component. Yeah, and um, the, uh, the Apprentice audition will have a, dance component i believe so i believe i believe i believe yeah okay oh we have a, we have a really interesting question here yeah. that somebody sent in what can i do as an actor to make your job easier and i have a very revolutionary answer to that um that's not your job what is your job to demonstrate your skills so the, really the response to that would be, our job is easier the more clearly and intentionally you demonstrate your skills. You, you prepare and you have those skills to demonstrate. Yeah? yeah? That's what makes our job easy. Really what you wanna do is you wanna make our job hard because all of you want to be so great, we go, oh God, we have 85 people that are incredible and we only can put 15 people in the show. Ooh, what do we do? That's really your job, is to make our job hard. Your job is not to make our job easy. Yeah, that's a great, yeah. Yeah. Agree to all of that. Okay, let's talk about group auditions. Okay, so, so that's not really a thing we do here. It's a thing um, other theaters do. Sometimes like theaters for young people do them. Um, it's not really a thing here. I. That just just talking off the top of my head, my um, advice, I mean, I hate that word, but I, I would go into a group audition with the intention of demonstrating your skills. You are not there to be anyone's friend. You're not there to 
let other people make decisions for you. Like if the person who goes before you sing the song that you want to do, sing the song you came in to do. Don't let that throw you off your track of what you went in there to do. Because then you've let that other person who you may or may not know, who may or may not even be good, determine what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. kind of ignore that it's a group audition. I guess is my, my thinking about that, but yeah. And I don't think we have plans to do group auditions uh, in the no. near future. No, uh, and, and actually um, Actors Equity says you can't. So that's, that's a great sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we, that's we the can, answer. so yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, James, we're on 11 from your page. Great. If we're working towards auditioning, what type of training would you recommend? Yes. Or we want to prepare for our first audition. Great. So, so, so you have to have skills to demonstrate, right? So acting, singing, dancing. We have classes here at Casa Vignana. Um, we have great teachers. Most of our teachers teach privately too. Um, work with qualified, qualified teachers. To, to teach you the skills you need to meet your goals. If your goal is auditioning for Penn State, if your goal is, well, if your goal is getting into the musical theater program at Penn State, that's a very different goal than if your goal is, you know, I'd like to be really comfortable going into a, um, an amateur theater audition. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, like, that's where we all began, you know? Um, be clear on your goals and find people to help you achieve them. And acting, singing, dancing, they're all important. They're all critical. Um, for musical theater, if you can't sing, if you, if you don't have a, a familiarity with your voice and your body and the way those two things work together, it's going to be a hard road. Mm -hmm. um, but the acting is critical to you. You can get away with doing musical theater and not being a dancer there or being like an okay dancer. You know, I mean, you don't have to be, you know, Charlotte D'Amboise, you know, I mean, Patti LuPone and Bernadette Peters are never going to star in Swan Lake. Right. <laughs> but they can do what they need to do. So, but yeah, work on the skills, qualified teachers, excellent training. If you need questions, if you need clarification or have questions about who those people are, Look to people who are really good, whose work you respect, and say, who do you work with? How did you learn that? What did you do? Where did you go to school? Yeah. And, um, and just keep, keep that ball rolling. Yeah, crowdsource it. Hey, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. And our classes here at CASA and our teachers are unbelievably great. Yeah. Unbelievably great. We could probably point you in the right direction if yeah. you need. No, yeah. pop us Something a note. That we don't pop offer. us a note. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that email is education at org, or just go ahead and we on our Instagram, you can email us and I can forward that on. Great. I know um, you can do that. That's very fancy. Yeah. Yes, I can. Great. Great. What type of techniques are you looking for? I'm thinking that's asking dance related. Oh, um, it, it like in a video audition, um, they'll either do a video or they'll ask you to do something that's a really hard thing to know because it is sort of about like looking in their brain, right? Right. Um, you want to you want to just make the leap between what you do and the style of the show as narrow as possible. You know, if it's if it's on the town and there's tons of ballet, um, doing like a big Martha Graham modern dance number may or may not be the best choice, right? If it's Forty Second Street and it's like a tap extravaganza, doing um, doing your best like three minutes of ballet may or may not be super useful. Yeah. yeah. Like, like bridge that bridge that gap a little bit. Yeah. And I think most of the time we try to say in a blank style yeah. and if we don't feel free to reach out and get yeah, clear. Totally. Totally. Cause we want you to do your best in submission. Okay. What do you think the next five years look like in the industry regarding auditions? Oh, uh, um, let me, let me get my crystal ball. Actually, <laughs> my coffee. Um, here's the thing. I, right now, my gut feeling is this. Um, video submissions are here to stay. 
be that good or bad. I think it is just one of those things that kind of is. Yeah. Um, and there, there are really like bad, super poopy aspects to that. But um, the great thing is it means, it means geography isn't an issue, right? Yeah. Um, you can, brilliant, Expense. brilliant, brilliant young woman we cast in Rudolph back in December. Um, she submitted a video audition. She lives in Atlanta, but she had friends here she could stay with, right? So, so she submitted. We're coming here to audition, going back to Atlanta, coming here to do the show, going back may have been a thing, but now you can submit a video and stay with friends and it makes it really easy. Yeah. Uh, it also allows us to not have to be in the same place if we're traveling or the director's in Florida and I'm here and the choreographer is in Reykjavik randomly. I thought of that place. Um, you can, we can all see the same video and all like have that, um, um, we, we can all like watch that video together and watch that audition together without the, the choreography of all of us being in the same place. I think that's really gonna stay. I think more and more pop styles, uh, vocal, vocal pop styles and rock styles are going to be part of musical theater. I mean, we see that coming. That's been consistent. Um, oh, people like that. Yeah, they hearted that. Yeah. <laughs> Key, I mean, keys are getting higher. So more and more is asked of singers, which is why those skills from qualified teachers who know how to teach those styles are more and more important every year. At the same time, there are always going to be revivals of classic musicals. So we always will need people with great legit chops who are great actors as well, right? There will always be a place for the Kelly O'Hara's and Audra, Audra McDonald's of the world, right? We will always need those people along with the Jackie Burns's and Dee Roscioli's and Adina Menzel's of the world. Yeah, we need, we need all of that. There's a place for everyone, but um, pop stuff isn't gonna go away and it's only gonna get more and more, more and more and more. Um, Apart, apart from that, I think, I think the thing that's gonna be tough is getting audiences back to the theater in a big way. People have, I think people have sort of gotten out of the habit of going to the theater. And um, I think that's something all of you can help us with is help people get back in the habit of going to the theater. And um, maybe venues will change. Maybe we'll be building smaller venues when new venues are built because it just won't mean as many people together but people are always going to want to be together and tell stories and hear stories together. I mean, that's, that's as old as people, you know, I mean, that's millions of years old. We've been doing that. Yeah. Okay. Great. I think that's, yeah, very insightful. And who knows? We could yeah. be surprised. Or not. I mean, like, I'm yeah. just, I'm just saying that that's what we seem to think right now. Yeah. yeah. Could change tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Fab 409 asked a question in the comments. Yeah. If a dance component is provided, what length of dance is good? How would you handle not having a specific dance reel? Yeah, it's tricky. Um, hopefully the audition announcement will say that. If they don't, um, remember, bridge that, bridge that gap, right? So if they're doing 42nd Street and there's lots of tap, show your tap chops. And I mean, a minute? Think of it like a song, right? A minute, two minutes. You can show what you can do in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's also smart to reach out and ask those questions too. Hey, is there anything specific you want us to do? How long do you want it to be? Because that's just smart. I mean, that's just you helping you show your skills, demonstrate your skills, you know, and be prepared. Um, and how would you handle not having a specific dance reel? Do your best. Because the great thing is, every everyone would be in the same page, right? Um, you can always hire a choreographer. You can hire a dance teacher. Get your dance teacher you've been working with to help you do a dance reel. Yeah, that would be super, super useful. Have them help you put that together. Pay them money to help you put that together. Yeah. Okay. Going to keep on keeping on. Um, always... If you guys have any more comments, just yeah. keep on and we'll get to them as we can. Okay. Hey, hey Justin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like, hello. Okay. I've been cast. Now what? Yay. Be glad, you know. Um, be glad. Um, 
yeah, prepare, work, um, learn everything you can about the show, listen to the cast recording, read the script. Um, yeah, be yeah, excited. You could, yeah, you could uh, reach out to others in your cast once the yeah. cast list is announced, et cetera. Yeah, reach out to the costume designer, see if they need you to come in for a fitting, say, hey, I can come in early, I have time, you know, I'll be in, I'll be in Fort Worth on Thursday, can I do a fitting? You know, yeah. Um, I have a very, very good friend, Amy Corcoran, who is a, a regional theater director, off-Broadway, Broadway, national tours. Uh, she says, are you solving problems or making them? And that's what she looks for in actors she okay. works with, solving problems or making them. So you've been cast, now what? So how can you solve problems? How can you, how can you go in and, um, and like be on the team, you know? Yeah, because that's what it is. We all want the same thing, right? Right? Our job is just to like help you look awesome. I mean, at the end of the day, you know? Like put you in great clothes, great acting, great set, great lighting, great singing, just help you be awesome. Jolie asks, tips when it comes to acting through song on virtual auditions. Great. <laughs> Two things really quick. I thought Please. you were going to stand up for a demonstration. <laughs> oh, no. No one wants to see me act. Because um, it doesn't happen. It's like, it's like this plastic fork. <laughs> acting. Um, use, use the camera as your scene partner. Like, use the camera because you have to live a little bit in like film TV land, right? To do that, really use the camera. Um, go back and watch the Sondheim 90th anniversary concert if you can without just becoming a blubbering mess like me when I watch it and watch the way that those brilliant, brilliant people use the camera. Watch Elizabeth Stanley sing The Miller's Son and how she uses the camera and how she leaves the camera to think and figure out what she's gonna say and comes right back. It's it's masterful. It's masterful. Learn from the best. Go watch that. Go watch that Sondheim concert. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot. Um, someone nice. asked about dressing for the. Does that help, Julie? Hopefully, it does. Um, someone asked, should I dress for the part? Generally, no. Um, it's one thing to give a little, like a little flavor. Think of it, um, I love spicy food, okay? I, I use a lot of food metaphors. Um, obviously, I love a good meal. Um, think of it like spice in food. You don't want to eat like a whole bottle of ground cayenne pepper, right? Um, that's going to make for a very hard day, a very hard couple of days in your life. Treat dressing for the part like cayenne pepper, a little flavor. If you're going in for rent, you know, maybe don't wear khakis and a polo, okay? One of my uniforms. It's, um, it's like to not rent, yeah? But if you show up dressed as Mark, it feels, it just feels a little much, you know? And, if, and what if we see you really as a Roger or really as, um, I can't think of anyone else in that show right now, Collins, right? Then what? Right, but I dressed as Mark. I know, but really, we would love to cast you as Collins. But I dressed as Mark. Can it be kind of limiting? You know, you see yes. them dressed as the part, and you're like, oh, well, maybe they only want to be right. So you can give a flavor, you know, but um, yeah, just give a flavor. But really, just show us who you are, because also you don't know what they're going to do with the show, right? Maybe they're going to. Maybe it is going to be like this revival of Oklahoma that's on the road right now, you know. That is not not our grandmother's Oklahoma friends, yeah. So who knows what they're going to do? Um, somebody else asked a question: when to improvise versus when not to. And mm -hmm. we think that that really is a question, maybe about like what happens if you make a mistake in um, in an audition, if you you get off track or whatever. So I'll go back to my friend Amy's thing. Sorry, my nose itches. Uh, <laughs> not COVID. Uh, solving problems or making them. So if you mess up, all you have to say is, oh my gosh, sorry, sorry, I just had a brain fart, sorry. Okay, can we, I'm so sorry, can we go back, you know? Or uh, that was weird, sorry, let's, can we start again? Thank you. Or just treat it as a person, right? Like we're all people, you're a person. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, if the pianist does something really 
horrible. I've done it. We've all done it. Um, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's fine. Stress-free zone. But again, preparation and attitude, the two things you can control. You can't control the pianist. You can't control what anybody thinks. The more prepared you are, the less chance something weird happens. And when something weird does happen, because it'll happen, laugh it off. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. People have, I've seen people throw up. I've seen people have coughing fits. I've seen all kinds of things happen. Yeah. It's never a big deal. Also We're all just possible, people. Yeah, accompani the accompaniment. Um, okay. Yes. The, the pianist? Yes, the pianist could so much easier. make yeah. a mistake. Um, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it, it kind of shows that you're not completely structured and perfect all the time. You know, we yeah. like to we're all we're all real people hey kendall um is it okay to ask obvious questions if you are new to community theater and not be annoying great questions are never annoying you know um like that's the thing like you can always ask a great question um if things aren't clear and you need clarity here's the thing a really great organization will understand that that really is feedback for them. If they've put something out in the world that isn't clear and you need to ask a question about it, really, that's great information for them to go, oh, this is, yeah, okay, this was not clear. We need to like make this clearer for people, right? And those expectations change over time. People have different expectations now than they did 20 years ago. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a learning moment for everyone. And we're all just doing our best. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's not annoying. It's not annoying. No, it's not annoying. I like mean, it, yeah. here's the thing. It's annoying when you, like, see an audition notice and it says at the top, um, um, no questions. Steel, steel Magnolias. <laughs> and you write and you go, and you go, what's this audition for? It's like, well, it says steel magnolias and great big letters at the top but even then like we all don't see things that we should see i mean i do that all the time it's fine yeah okay kendall also asked earlier you mentioned it was okay to reach out to the theater if you sent a video mm -hmm. submission and haven't heard anything how would you respectfully form that email remember we're all people right so just say hey i sent a video in um I, I haven't heard I haven't heard yay or nay about a callback, and I just wondered if you had any more information. Um, thank thank you so much for getting back to me when you have a moment. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing: there's also a thing here where you have to have a little bit of discernment about yourself and go, okay, if they don't write me back, if that if they if I don't get an email back, okay, I I I just need to sort of accept that as a I'm not called back and move on with your life. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if it's like one day later, or one hour later, just give us some grace. Yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, get, and that's the hard thing about video auditions, right? And we're all figuring out how to do that and, and, and managing expectations and how to do that and how, what to tell people and how to help them. And, and um, we're, we're all learning about that, right? We're yeah. all learning about it. So, yeah. We yeah. have one more in the question box. Yes, yeah, but... um, I will pop it up. Are there any local youth community theater groups that you would like to see on resumes more than others? Um, no, no. Again, we want to know that you have skills and um, yeah, here, if you're auditioning for colleges, colleges want to see skills. And if they're looking at theaters that you've worked at, they want to see theaters that they know. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean a lot to colleges generally, especially like the top tier programs, Michigan, Elon, Penn State, Hart, blah, 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 Baldwin Wallace, um, you know, to have, to have done a show at, you know, XYZ Community Theater. That's not going to mean a lot to them. Doing a show here, Dallas Theater Center, Alley Theater in Houston, Zach in Austin, that kind of thing. Yes, those those people will know. Um, so you have to have some some discernment about that, some discretion about that. But no, 
I mean, if you're a young person getting started, just get some experience and um, work with great teachers and great people, great directors. Yeah. Jolie yeah. asks, are there ever callbacks when oh, it yes. comes to video auditions? Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. It just depends what we need. But just like in real life, I mean, sometimes in live auditions, there aren't callbacks. We just cast the show. Um, but yeah, and if, if you are called back, you will find out, which is why it's important that your contact info on your resume is correct. Yes. Because sometimes that's a thing, y'all. And I think a big thing, if we say a file format, et cetera, please follow that. It makes it so much easier to go through. I know, yeah. I know commonly we ask for a headshot and resume on the same document. That just helps us keep all of our ducks in a row. And yeah. especially it's and Good remember shot. too, like tech is different for everybody, right? Like sometimes you can open something on a Mac much easier than you can on a PC or whatever. So yeah, you'll almost never go wrong with a PDF, right? Because anything That's, can read a PDF. Yeah. Gold star for PDF. <laughs> Gold star for PDF, yeah. Okay, I wrote down just a few more um, okay. that you made me think of. Oh gosh. Say it's your first audition. Okay. Would you go in and say, it's my first audition? Absolutely. Absolutely. People have done that and it is so charming and it breaks the ice and it is, um, I hate this word. Um, it's so social media y, um, but it's very authentic, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just, it's real and it breaks the ice and it helps you be less nervous, right? Yeah. Just go, this is the first time I've done this. Let's see what happens. And we're like, yeah. Great. We'll, we'll like all like have this experience together. Yeah. It's so much fun. That happens more than you would think. Yeah. Okay. So you get cast and you show up first date. Uh, what, what does a casting director, what does a director look for? Um, you know, are you off book? Are you on book? You know, songs, et cetera. Well, I mean, right. Especially someplace like Casa where we rehearse 10 days, two weeks. The more you can know coming in, the better, right? Um, but that's anywhere, you know, that's anywhere. If you've coached the material with your voice teacher, hey, you know, that's great. You're coming in ahead, right? If you've um, thought through the scenes that your character has and made some notes and asked some questions and have some intentions, um, yeah, yeah. The more work you can come in having done, the further ahead of the game you are, and then, um, then the everybody, then you can work at an even higher level, right? Yeah. Um, and sometimes you can do that, and sometimes you can't, and sometimes, you know, there's just different tools to do that. But yeah, absolutely, we love that, and not because it makes our job easier. We still work with you. It's because we can all work on a higher level. We can like do more detail work instead of oh, let's just learn the song first. Yeah, totally. That's part of that's part of really kind of being a professional. Is that expectation? Yeah. Yeah. Preparation. Okay. Another one I jotted down. Um, say the show is in an accent or a style, a different style of voice like that. Would you audition with a voice? Would you sing with a different accent? Um. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Sure. I mean it. It. Um, yeah, I mean, again, right? It's the it's the cayenne pepper thing. You can you can give a flavor, yeah, and 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 help us bridge that gap, right? If we're doing cabaret and you um, and they're going to use accents because, of course, like they would be speaking German, so <laughs> right, uh, they wouldn't be like speaking English with a German accent. Um, yeah, um, maybe like do a Kurt Vile piece if you're auditioning for Fräulein Schneider and throw and throw like a little a little German thing in it or something. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, just just remember, you know, um, think about other people and what, um, you know, kind of stay in your lane. You know what I mean? If, if you know what I mean? Okay. As, far, as far as race and ethnicity and um, nationality, that sort of thing, do make good choices. Make good choices. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, my next question. Yeah. I want to get it out there. 
are there too many shows? Is there ever an, a situation where you audition for too many shows at one theater or sky's the limit? No. Yeah. No. Every audition is an opportunity to practice auditioning. I always tell my like students and clients that. Be smart, preparation and attitude, right? Because it's really hard to undo like a, a negative impression, right? That's really, really hard to do. Um, but yeah, if you go in and you're prepared, every audition is an opportunity to practice auditioning and auditioning is its own skill. Yeah. yeah. And every audition is a new audition. So it's not like, oh, we, she auditioned. Totally, last totally. Show. And it'll yeah. click, it'll click at one point, right? Like there's so many moving parts in all of that. So if you audition five times and you don't get called back, who knows what that is, right? It may or may not have anything to do with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So like yeah. keep going or ask a, ask a question, you know? Like that's, I mean, I think that's totally okay. Yeah. Anything you would say at the end of an audition, like any, could I have done X, Y, Z better? Is that acceptable or? Mm, that, that can feel a little weird in a professional audition. Okay. Um, um, in a, in like a children's theater situation when, when everybody is a student and everyone's learning and it's a classroom situation, that's different. Um, sometimes in college, there's a moment where people will have that conversation, mm -hmm. um, like a big meeting after the audition or something, yeah. but in a professional audition, like for Casa Manana or Dallas Theater Center or the Alley Theater or Tuts, um, that, that's not really an appropriate question because it, it puts everybody on the spot. And honestly, sometimes we don't know because we're still in the middle of figuring it all out, right? We're like looking at the puzzle pieces and playing with the puzzle. And you're like, what about my puzzle piece? I'm like, uh, playing with the puzzle and looking at the pieces. I haven't really thought about it. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Is it normal to receive feedback when you're still in the room after the audition or what typically happens when you're done with your audition, but you're still in the room? Um, sometimes we'll ask you to do this song again differently. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we'll ask you if you have something else, you know, like, oh, that was great. You sang, this is my like song of the day, right? Uh, you sang Glitter, bye Justin. Um, <laughs> you see a, a friend of mine in the Midwest. Um, sometimes like you'll sing Glitter and Be Gay and we're like, that was great. Now do you have a belt piece? Um, but yeah, and then we'll say, oh my gosh, that was great. Thank you so much. Um, this has been great. Thank you for coming in. And then that's sort of, you know, the cue to leave the party, right? We yes. all know when that moment is to leave the party. Yes, so, go outside, take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say thank you to the person at the door, get in the car, and don't think about it again. The next day when you get up, ask yourself, would I have done anything differently? And don't, don't think about it again, because it's out of your control. What are you going to do about it anyway? Yeah, can't go back and change it. Nope. Things that are in your control, things that are not in your control. We have to have major discernment about that as actors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The last thing I have written down, and then last call, guys, if you want a question answered. Yeah. Um, any notes on resumes, tips and tricks for that? What do you look for in an audition on a resume type of thing? That it's true. Number one, everything on it has to be true. Um, um, I, I, here's the thing. I look for spelling. I look for everything lining up, um, that kind of thing, because what that tells me is that you are someone who has, um, a focus on detail and attention to detail in your resume usually means to me that you have attention to detail in other parts of your life, like learning the songs, learning the choreography, learning the staging, et cetera. Yeah. Um, that may or may not always hold water. That may or may not be fair, but it, it is your resume is like your calling card, right? If it's, it's, um, or the landing page of your website, if the landing page of your website has out of focus pictures and misspellings and, um, and, and weird font choices and things that don't line up, we go, oh, this is kind of, huh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. same thing. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Any sections or just random info you wouldn't put on a resume? Um, don't put your mailing address. Um, you, you don't really need to put your weight. That's not cool, right? Yeah, um, yeah. 
Um, don't put your age. Um, generally, don't put your age. Um, these rules are sometimes a little different for film and TV, but generally for theater, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, that's like a whole conversation of itself. Yeah. We should do yeah. we should do a resume and headshot day. Hey. Yeah, that's... it's later. So I'm gonna save this live on our highlights oh, and then oh. I'll upload it as a video. If you guys think of oh, topics you want talked about, yeah, drop it below or message us and we'll yeah. add that to the queue for another combo because I think that'd, that'd be, great. be great. Yeah. Any closing remarks? <laughs> we want to see everyone. Yes. We want to see everyone. So um, please submit for everything. Please submit. Um, there, there's, yeah. I mean, re yeah. regardless of whatever, we want to cast you. We want to cast you. We want to cast local actors. We want to cast the best people for everything. And we have an amazing, amazing performing arts community in North Texas. And um, we would love to see all of you walking through the doors here. So please submit for everything. I mean, that's appropriate. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like if you're a four-year-old girl, don't submit for um, mm -hmm. Long Day's Journey and Deny. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> there's probably not gonna be a lot for you to do, but we're probably not gonna do Long Day's Journey and Deny anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, be smart, but um, be discerning. But yeah, we want to see you. We want to see you audition. So we look forward to doing that. And we look forward to like theater being more robust and continuing to um, evolve, right? Yes. And we understand that the, the wider the door and the less the door exists altogether, the better it is for everyone. Yeah? Great. So, yeah. Um, Thank you all um, for being here and listening to me yeah. talk. And expect some audition notices yes. in the near future. Yes, keep especially for young for people, keep your eyes open. For adults, keep your eyes open. Yeah. And then in March, keep your eyes open because we'll be announcing a new season yes. of the Broadway series and the TYA series. So um, keep your eyes peeled at the website. Real quick, um, our website, cosmignana.org, in our bio. We also have a direct link in our bio to auditions, but you can just run down and click auditions under the about tab if you want to sign up for our email list about that or just check in on what's there. Yeah. Thank oh. you, Kendall. We appreciate everybody's Thank questions. Thank yeah. you guys. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye.